Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Southern Dirt. My name is Summer and I'm located in Central Florida in Zone 9. And today I'll be sharing with you all the fall seeds, varieties, and seed packets that I will be putting in our 2020 fall garden. I plan to upload bi-weekly videos to show you how my plants are growing, the different struggles that I'm going through, some of the fails that are happening in the garden, and sharing with you how I am tackling and changing some things around to be more successful as a gardener. I hope that you follow along this season by subscribing. So here are all the seeds that I plan on putting in my 2020 fall garden. I will be going through each variety, including the name brand seed that I will be using, which there's a large variety of them. I also will be going through my fall planner. Um, this planner actually has every plan that I've ever put in my garden in our backyard. I have a wish list for every season, and uh, I sketch out my garden and plan on where I'm going to rotate my crops as well. So if you don't sketch your own garden, that is a little tip I have for you. I will show you my scratch pad, if you would say, um, of my notes over the years and how I uh, manage and plan my garden. So most of the seeds that I'll be sharing with you today are non-GMO, heirloom, or organic seeds. Um, it is my goal to maintain a sustainable organic garden for our family. And um, there may be some seed packets in here that are not GMO or not organic or heirloom. And that's okay with me because I know that when I plant that seed, it's going into soil that's maintained by myself. It is going to be maintained without pesticides and it's going to be something that I feed my family and it'll be much better than what is available in the store. So I'm gonna start with the different varieties and packets of lettuce that I'll be planting this year. This is a romaine blend by Burpee. This is another basic romaine by Ferrymore. I've got some red romaine from Baker Creek. My favorite is Butter Crunch, and this is from Baker Creek Seeds. And this is something new I've never tried before. These are some seed discs thought, that I thought I would try. I'll show you what they look like. Here's what they look like. You can basically put them in a container and um, throw a little soil over them and then water them in. And it should kind of have them all spaced out for you properly. I'm also going to plant a Brandywine Tomato by Burpee. I have some Sweetie Tomatoes that I'm going to try by Fairymore. Um, I'm going to do some beets this year again. I have been unsuccessful with growing them. They just don't get really big here in our zone. I may try to plant them at a different time. Maybe I'll have more success. So if anybody has tips for me on those, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now I have several different varieties of carrots that we will be planting this year because my children absolutely love pulling carrots from the garden. We go out there every day after school and harvest them. So we have some short and sweet carrots by Burpee, some Scarlet Nannies by Fairymore, some early Scarlet Horn from Baker Creek Seed, we have some Carrot Deveners 126 Half Long from Baker Creek Seeds. I'm also going to do some Swiss Chard from Burpee. One of my personal favorites is Kale and Collards. So I'll be doing Thousand Head Kale from Baker Creek Seed. They grow these ridiculously huge long leaves. They can pretty much feed your family in one leaf. Um, your basic dinosaur kale. I've got some dazzling blue kale that I've never tried before that I'm excited about. And your basic southern Georgia collards. These are all Baker Creek seeds. I'm going to be doing some zucchini from Burpee. I'm going to try some winter squash, some butternut squash. Also some summer cooked net squash. These are pretty interesting. I'm not even going to pronounce it, but these are some interesting peppers that I want to try this year. 
And uh, I also have never tried bok choy, so I'm excited about that as well. We're gonna plant some French breakfast radishes. Our children love sugar peas from the garden, so we have a few different varieties. We're gonna try the burpee sugar daddy pea. We're also gonna try the Baker Creek heirloom sugar snap peas. We're also going to try Oregon Sugar Pod 2 from Baker Creek. We're going to give broccoli another try this year and see how that does. And we're going to plant some purple kohlrabi. So some other things I'll be planting will be flowers um, and some herbs. I usually buy my herbs at our local nursery, but I want to have a little extra this year. So thinking about planting some extra basil, because it can get expensive and I kill a lot of basil and use a lot of it. And cilantro. Now these are some seeds that I've saved from uh, sunflowers over the year and different flowers. These are my awesome loofahs with seeds in them. We'll be planting more loofahs. Um, I have some Mongolian sunflowers that I saved we'll be putting in the garden. Regular mammoth sunflowers that we'll be put in the garden. I have autumn sunflower seeds. It's like an autumn color mix I'll be putting somewhere in the garden. We love growing zinnias. Um, this was a variety I planted a couple seasons ago. It was the first variety in zinnia I ever put in my garden. And uh, these did really well, and that's a burpee brand. I'm also going to put some marigolds in our garden to help repel some bugs. Um, these are some yard beans I've saved over the uh, years, so I'll be putting those out as well. And um, these are some zinnia seeds that um, I planted last year, and it bloomed one of these pretty colors. Um, and this particular flower I saved the seeds from so we can actually get more of those colors into our garden. So these are all the seeds I'll be planting um, it is actually a full moon tomorrow, so I'm going to be planting today. So if you're wondering when you should start planting, uh, September is a great time to start planting in zone 9. Um, don't feel like you should be pressured for time because I've started my garden uh, at the end of September and early October. Um, so as long as you're getting organized and getting something in the ground in the next two months, you should be fine. So here's my little scratch pad and planning book that um, I do every year. And this is basically my wish list for our fall 2020 garden. And what I do is I sit down with my children and family and we talk about different things that we'd like to see in our garden. So we all write down our favorites and I come up with a list, which you can see here. And then I do some research on the varieties and different types and find out when the best time to plant them in our zone. So as you can see, a lot of these say August, and it's clearly September. You don't need to panic if you have not already planted those. Um, usually the ranges are between August and October. Most of these I'll be planting here in the next few days. Um, I don't want you guys to panic if you are not organized. You can actually put your fall garden in in the next couple months. So all these will do fine here. Some will do better if you planted them earlier. Um, I like to get an early start on my garden because I do two plantings um, every year. I like to start my spring garden early and my fall garden early in order to dodge any heat or dodge frost. So um, I will be putting some more videos out to share with you um, on what different varieties that you may want to cover if you have a frost coming. That will be coming out as soon as our frost starts getting closer here and I'll be updating you on all of these different varieties and how they grow. Um, as you can see, some of these um, I'll be doing second plantings of, so I won't be putting all my seeds in the ground. I'll be doing them a little bit spaced out every few weeks. So I wanted to show you guys the reason why I keep notes. Not only does it help me plan out how many plants that I can put in my garden, but it also allows me to know what I planted last year so I'm not planting the same crops in the same rows or beds because we want to make sure that we're crop rotating um, our plants so that you're not going to steal certain nutrients from your soil and you'll be less likely to get the same pests uh, coming back for that season because they already know where that particular uh, crop is. I'll be placing a full list 
of vegetables you can grow during this time for zone nine in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please make sure you hit that like button. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please make sure you comment below in the comment box. And if you want to continue to see videos of my zone nine garden and how it's growing and all the different things that we are doing through the season to keep it thriving, please make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.